Good morning, everybody. It's been a couple of days since I released a vlog. I was waiting on some insurance stuff. And also, there was a bit of a family emergency last night. My poor dog uh, got attacked by a porcupine. And I shouldn't say attacked. My dog got excited and ran over to the porcupine. I was down here doing my podcast. And Kayla came in screaming. I went upstairs, and he was just covered. Uh, it was... It was horrifying. Um, fortunately, nothing got in his eyes. There was some in his mouth, uh, all on his chest, and uh, his paws really bad. Uh, so that was really scary last night. We were out all hours of the night dealing with that, rushed him out to the hospital. And uh, yeah, they put him under and started pulling these things out. Um, or they gave him some weird, like, some drug that makes him really almost like he's drunk so he didn't really know what was going on but we got him home uh, it was a long night and uh yeah so sorry i didn't upload anything yesterday uh i had a, a vlog already recorded from the other day when i went to the mechanic to figure out what was going on with my car how much damage there was from the accident and then i found out some more information so i scrapped that video i'm just gonna make a new one today I got pulled over yesterday and uh, it was just because I didn't have a license plate on my car and the police officer um, ended up giving me a $1,300 fine for not having valid insurance. I didn't have my insurance card on me because it was sitting up there on the mess of my bar uh, when I was going through with the insurance stuff and all I had was a temporary insurance card in my dash and that was expired by a day um, at the time. So he ended up giving me a fine for that. He said he pulled me over because there was no plate. And lo and behold, my temporary plate that Mercedes put on there, they accidentally put the wrong month on the front. So it said that it was expired, but it was only a day old. And when I called uh, Mercedes, um, you know, obviously they apologized. I went down and got another 30 day temporary plate. But the big thing was um, the actual real date was on the back, like written, but it was just the front of it that showed the wrong month. Anyway, the cop let me off on the uh, registration ticket, uh, but gave me the one for the insurance. And I have to go down to the courthouse today and prove that I actually had insurance, which of course I did, um, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go down and do that. And I'm gonna give you guys a full update on the car. I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you the car as well. And uh, we can even go and see my poor dog, Thor. So just give me a sec. How you doing, bud? Hey. Hey. Oh my goodness. I know. Here, wanna sit down? Come on. Oh, I feel so bad. That's my boy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, it'll be okay, buddy. It'll be okay. I know you're in pain. Look at that. Jesus. It's a good boy. Oh, you gotta just, Thor, just lay down, bud. Here. Just lay down. Just lay down. Good boy. Okay, just brought the car in because it's raining. But let me show you what we managed to jerry-rig up here. So the gap is no longer there. We managed to use the clamps that are still intact. There's a couple of broken ones down there. Um, just because it was raining, it's kind of hard to see the, uh, the dents and dings, but... Uh, there's cracks in the carbon fiber all here that's just unrepairable and uh, there's a couple more down that way sensors are fine uh, here this is where it was the most concerning uh, because we knew for sure that this would have had to been that this was going to be replaced the back panel um, all right here it's really hard to notice because it's wet but all right here it was all scuffed and there's little tiny dents uh, all right there and then here there's a, a fair amount of a dent and obviously, you know, this thing has just been completely, uh, that took a brunt of the force and this one here. 
So also all right here, can't really notice it in the rain, but once again, uh, all scuffed up and dented and up here is uh, scuffed up. No dents there, but it's scuffed. Um, it's really, when you look, like you, if you're looking at the car, you can't notice it unless you're looking for it. The most, the thing that pops out the most is this. And uh, if I drive around for half a day or whatever, this starts to sag again. And then when I get home, I have to basically smash it back up in there. Um, but you know what, for driving around in this, it's really not that bad uh, for now. What they're gonna end up doing is they're replacing this carbon fiber piece and they're actually replacing the entire back panel. So from here all the way, it's all one big piece all the way around. The reason why they're replacing the entire back panel is he told me you will never get the shape because of the dents there. He said you'll never get the shape uh, of the vehicle looking the same uh, as it did when it came off the lot. He said, you know, they can do a close enough job, but it's just not going to be what it was. And since it's a brand new car, um, they're not taking any chances and they're honoring it to the fullest of its ability. So that was really good news. So they're replacing the entire panel. It comes in one big piece. Also, if they were to touch things up, it's very, very tough for them to do a paint match. So what they're doing also is when they get the new panel, it comes in blank and then they're gonna paint the entire panel. And he said it won't be much of a problem at all to do a color match. He said, even, it, even if you look at the two different sides here, they're actually a little bit of a different shade. You don't notice it until you're staring at it, but this isn't even perfect from factory. He said it'll look the exact same as this. So he's not concerned because the car is brand new. If it was out in the sun for a year or two, it might be a little bit of a different story, but um, it's not a big deal. So that's what's going down with the car. Um, looks pretty good. You know, the, the I'm not gonna lie, it bugs me a little bit knowing that it is dinged up and I am driving around and that's the only thing I can think of is if people are seeing the damage. But it is what it is. We're gonna still go to Cars and Coffee tomorrow as long as the rain holds up. Let me hop into the car. Let's talk a little bit more. I'll tell you about the process of the parts, which is can be scary. And let's head to the courthouse show them the proof of insurance and start our day. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm driving in fairly heavy rain. I am going to make sure I do not drive in any deep puddles or I'm driving uh, against traffic that has the opportunity to splash a bunch of water on my car. If you guys haven't heard, our friend over at Autovlog, his car got hydro locked from driving in really heavy rain. I'm not gonna describe the whole situation to you. I'll leave a link to his channel and the video specifically in the description of this video and you can go and check it out. It is, I feel for him, man. I really do feel for him. His car got written off, $71,000 replaced the engine. Absolutely madness. So I'm gonna go nice and easy in the rain and hopefully we will not have a hydro lock video on the next video on this channel. Um, secondly, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Sennheiser. They are giving away two headsets uh, for my community. So if you guys are interested in winning a Sennheiser Game 1 headset, which is their gaming version of the, um, the HD 598s, link is in the description below. You can sign up as many times as you like or not at all, but uh, I thought I would bring the giveaway onto YouTube as well. So there's that. So the last thing that I want to talk about with the uh, fender bender and the process with insurance, they're going to cover everything, which is great. Uh, I was never really complaining about the fact that I didn't have insurance and wouldn't be covered. You know, I had a lot of a lot of negative comments and people are like, dude, all you're doing is whining. Like, that's why you have insurance. Well, here's the reality of it, guys. Um, my car is going to depreciate in value. There is no insurance for that. And here in Nova Scotia, you're not allowed to sue anybody for any type of depreciation. When you get in an accident in Nova Scotia, it gets dealt with by the insurance and they only make your car exactly the way it was before the accident. Fortunately, my car was brand new, so they're going to replace the parts. What I don't get reimbursed for is depreciation. So if I were to try and trade in the car or sell it down the road, 
obviously this fender bender is going to be on the record and I may lose, you know, five thousand dollars or whatever they may seem uh, fit for the depreciation factor of the car. That I'm out of. It doesn't matter if you hit a brand new Mercedes or you hit a 1991 Camry. It they don't care, um, and that's just the law here in Nova Scotia. I called my adjuster. Funny enough, uh, the adjuster watched the video of my car getting hit and uh, he realized that he was the guy in charge of my file, so I called him, we kind of chuckled about that. But he told me about it, and then I contact my lawyer, and there's really nothing that I can do about it. It's just unfortunate, and it is what it is. So I wanted to say, I just wanted to mention that because people were like, oh man, all you're doing is crying, like you got insurance, like big deal. Well, I'm out, I'm, it's a brand new car, and I'm gonna be out of depreciation after having it for two hours, so, you know. <laughs> Of course I'm not gonna be happy about that but there's that the second thing is um, ordering parts since it is the 2018 the parts might not be regulated yet so even though the car is now regulated the parts may not be regulated to come right away unfortunately here in Canada it's hard to get parts for the C63 S even the 2017 there's not many of them out there so we have to order everything from Germany and if the parts aren't regulated yet, I'm gonna have to wait until they get the green light, and then obviously they have to ship out here. My guy who's doing the the work, and, and he's also the adjuster, um, he is he's thinking it's gonna take about three to six weeks just to get the parts here. And the six week part depends if it's regulated or not, but he said typically it's a minimum of three weeks. So, fortunately, the car does not look that bad as I showed you guys in the video. So I'm not really too worried uh, about the look of the car. And that's not a big deal. It was always just the depreciation thing. And you know, I'm going to Cars and Coffee tomorrow and all that stuff and I had a, a few things planned. Also, I'm not gonna be able to get my car filmed until I get my new bumper and everything on there and I won't be able to mod my car until I do that. I can do the ECU tune, so I can take that out, but I'm not gonna change the exhaust or anything. Uh, until my the guy who's doing the work on my car can gets under there and make sure that there is no issue at all uh, with the exhaust and stuff because he just did a, a, a basic look over of the car but he didn't get like too in depth he didn't get underneath it and well he got underneath it but he didn't lift it up and check everything to the fullest so I won't be able to do any of my mods except for the ECU tune I can I can send that out and whatever but the downpipes and uh, the film and the ceramic pro that's all on hold yet again so yeah that's all the updates I have I don't know how much damage like dollar amount there is to the car I won't find that out till Monday or Tuesday so when I do that I'll give you guys one final update on how much physical damage it uh, it's gonna cost to repair the car and then we'll just move on and that'll be the show we're also now driving in Sport Plus mode and we can take the RPMs past 4,500 because the car is broken in. We hit 1,500 kilometers yesterday. I drove around the city for like four hours and got it done. Probably burned $70 worth of gas, but worth. So obviously not today because it's raining, but we're gonna start to really work this car in. We're gonna do some launch control, see how fast she can go. Uh, we're gonna do you know maybe a burnout or two. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna push it. We're gonna sign up for the track. We're gonna do all that fun stuff. I'm really excited. The car is broken in, baby, and we in Sport Plus. Ooh, I gotta be careful because the roads are slick, and I can feel the traction control already just kicking in there, saying, "Nah, bro, nah, keep it in comfort mode while it's raining." Right now, guys, my car is self-parking itself. I'm parallel parking here. Very cool. Love it. Oh, it makes me so nervous. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. How cool is that? Parking pilot finished. Look at this. Yeah, there it is. There's the 360 camera. Okay, so this is the Halifax courthouse here on Spring Garden. Got my ticket, got my insurance. Let's go in here and squash this fine. And they are closed. I looked online and it said it was open up six days a week. Okay, well, that was a fail. Uh. Ah. Unfortunately, the DMV is closed and the courthouse is closed. It is a Saturday, so it makes sense because they're government. Um, I didn't put two and two together. It was a long night last night, so it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I guess I'm, I'm going to call it a video right there, guys. Uh, at least I got to give you an update on all the insurance. I'm going to go home and look after the dog, uh, relax a little bit, lay down. I have a friend in, in town from Toronto, so I'm going to go to dinner with, uh, with him and his brother tonight. But beyond that, I'm just going to relax, take it easy. It is yard sale day today, but of course, it's raining like it always does here on Saturdays for some reason. Uh, so I won't be able to go and uh, hunt for some retro video games. But either way, drop something in the comment section below. Let me know um, what you guys think about the rule of the depreciation, how you can't go after insurance for it, or uh, you can't sue somebody for the loss of value on the car, considering if it is brand new or if it isn't. Um, let me know what you guys think about that, and is it like that where you're from? Also, make sure to go and show some love to Autovlog. Go and check out the giveaway in the description for Sennheiser if you guys are interested in winning a headset finger bang that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe if you're enjoying the content go check out my other stuff and i will see you guys probably well if it's nice so actually i'll see you guys tomorrow because it's cars and coffee tomorrow so it'll be my first cars and coffee well my second but it'll be my first while doing car videos so i'll take my cameras i will film a whole bunch of stuff hopefully i'll meet a bunch of uh you know new people in the car community and i'll be able to talk to them about their cars and we can maybe highlight some of those on other videos, maybe take them out for a little rip. But uh, either way, you will see me tomorrow, and then you'll see me on Monday when I give you the last update on the insurance. I also have a video planned where I'm gonna go through uh, the full costs of my car and all that fun stuff, my spec, and then we're just gonna get into making videos with the car. So I'm really, really excited. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, and of course, Stay bows.